hi welcome back this is Shelly from crafting mamas and my video is part of a video hop hashtag thanks for watching art and this happens to be video hop number three and it is sponsored by creative arts collaboration a group on Facebook better known as the CAC and creative arts collaboration is a group of very well-known YouTube artists and some brand new YouTube artists that collaborate and share ideas and help support each other and art on YouTube. This video hop, in this video hop, video hop number three, the idea is you had to pick someone that you are inspired by from the previous two video hops, from video hop one or two, and I've chosen Marianne from Marianne's Creative Mix, and in her video hop and hop two, she created things for mixed media with resin. So today we're going to create this little metal. And I have made mine out of bottle caps. So I am a recycle, I love to make things from recycling. So I found these bottle caps. The inspiration was the bottle caps that I found in a parking lot. I didn't rust them, they came that way. Um, and I didn't flatten them, they came that way. So if you're like me and you like to recycle, scour your parking lots for, for used bottle caps. So the first thing I would do is I collect the bottle cap, then I have a piece of coffee dyed paper. I've taken some stays on ink to the coffee dyed paper and just stamped. Then I took a one inch circle punch and I cut a circle. And then I have taken the piece to my bottle cap. And I like it, but I'd like it to be a little smaller. So then all I did was fold it up into fours and trimmed my circle. Trimmed my circle to be a little smaller. Now, if you have other book pages you like, or you have, I, I make a lot of altered books, so I have a lot of different book pages. You could use magazine pages. You could use what you have. You could use scrapbooking paper. Use what you have. So I'm going to glue that piece in. doesn't matter if it's absolutely perfect or not, but before I do that, I'm going to take some inexpensive metallic paint and just paint maybe around where it says Corona, just to... So there's none of the blue showing through. But if you like the blue, keep it. Next step is glue your piece down. Now I am using clear tacky glue. You use what works for you. Putting a tiny bit. I'm not going to worry about whether my paper sticks completely down because I am covering it with um, a dimensional glaze or resin. So I've glued my piece down. Now I've gone to a few of the other book pages that I have collected and just found some words that I liked. And so for this one, I, I found Torn Away, and this one, it was, this one ran away. So there you go. <laughs> anyway, I don't know where it is. It was on my desk. You guys, today's been a day. I've already had a day. I tried to make this video numerous times. And now a stray cat from the yard, from the neighbors came in. So you could hear the last one, my cat having a fight. Awesome, right? Woohoo! Anyway, back to my video. Next, I'm punching two holes. One on the top and one on the bottom. This one I did three, but on this demo, I'm only going to do two. Now, I am using a big bite. You could use a nail and a piece of wood. So all I need to do is move my big bite setting to the smallest hole setting and punch a hole and I suggest that you punch one a little further in especially if they're rusted and then punch one just because you you don't want it to go all the way you know you don't want to break it through through the the bottom piece of metal and if you've never used one of these I just got it I have to tell you I'm a little addicted okay so it has two holes. One on the top, one on the bottom. Next thing you're going to need is some wire. And this is 20 gauge copper wire. You can use any kind of wire you have, but you do want a thicker one because you're going to make. For two holes, you need three split rings for 
three holes, you would need five split rings. So you're going to take your metal to the very fattest part of your plier and bend it around. And it looks like this. And then you're going to bend it back around. You're going to go back to the beginning or the end that's closest where all the wire is and bend it again. You want to make a, a split ring is like the same sort of thing that you see on a key ring. You know where it keeps the keys in. And then you just snip. Now the one thing about working with any sort of metal, the more you work with it, the harder it gets. So I would tell you not to overwork it. You don't want to, you know, break your wire. You know when you were a kid and you had wire and you moved it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you bent it back and forth? That work hardens your metal. So you want for for the for the ring, for the bottle cap with two holes, you want one split ring at the bottom and you want to put two split rings at the top for your fabric piece. Okay, here's ring one. And you want to add your second one. Just trying to bend the ends down because they are up a little bit, the, the ends that I cut off. But do you see how the split ring is? It's like the it's got it's got two. Let's see if I can hold it up higher where you can see it. You see it's got two pieces. So I mean two loops on one end. Okay. So let me show you one more time how to make a split ring. Super easy. You want to take your fat the fat, go take your wire to the fattest part of your pliers and bend it around. And then one more time. Okay, do you see? That's a split ring. And then you want to cut it off. You want to cut it off closer to this side. The side with the wire. You want to keep it. And be careful not to cut your wire too close. Or you'll cut the, you'll snip the, the link. All right, so you're going to open your, you're going to open up your second link, and you're going to feed it through the top part of your top link. Okay, so we have two links. Two links at the top, one link at the bottom. Now let's do our fabric, and this is very super. This is super simple. I've just torn a piece of muslin, and you can make yours as wide or as short as you'd like. And I'm going to just feed it through the top. Feed it through the top split ring. that's it. Now if you have a sewing machine you could take it to your sewing machine if you wanted. You don't, I put a grommet in mine but you, because I have this new big bite and I'm in love with using it, but if you don't have it you can sew it. You could also use ribbon if you don't want to use muslin. And this is is how it looks right now. Now what I've done with mine is I've taken another piece of muslin and I have torn it and put it on top. Okay, and let's see, or cut it and put it on top. Okay, let's see, we'll tear it so that it has a little bit of a rough edge. And I've added it as an extra little piece on top. Now you are going to then put your grommet in and we can do that as well, but let's work on the bottom part. So here I've added some chain and a bead. Add what you have. This is not, you don't, it's not, you know, nothing is written in stone. You could do it with thread. In fact, we could do it with thread. I have some red thread here. Let's see. Let's do it with thread. Maybe we don't, maybe we won't do it with chain this time. We'll do it with thread. And we'll add, we'll add a bead or two to the thread. 
Maybe I'll sew the top part with some red thread too. Let's see. Get a couple of pieces of thread going on, making like a small, making like a small tassel with uh, this wax linen thread. I mean, do it your way. Have your style. Make your make it your style. Tassel's too long. Let's see. I am so used. I I live stream twice a week, so I am used to going with the flow. But today was a little bit. I have to tell you, didn't expect the hissing cat. <laughs> didn't expect the. Uh, didn't expect the cat. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my three pieces of, or actually four pieces of wax linen thread and I'm going to run it through my split ring. Run it through my split ring here at the bottom. And I'm going to tie it with another piece. To make like a tassel. Use what you have. You know, for me, making recycled art, the whole idea of it is just creative fun. There's no rules. Okay, so that is going to dangle from this one and I'll snip it off. And then let me see what I'm going to do at the top. Maybe I won't put a grommet on it like I did before. Maybe I will. Let's see. Maybe I'll take it and sew this wax linen. Maybe I'll sew this wax linen through it. Let's see. If, first of all, let's see if it may not even go through because it may be too for the, no, nope, looks like it's working. Maybe too thick for the fabric, but no, it looks like it's working fine. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one more, one more little loop and come back through. And tie a knot on one end. And then I'll tie an additional knot. And then I'll snip it off and on this end, I'll go ahead and tie. I know this well. And then maybe I'll add a bead. Let's see what kind of small beads I have here. Maybe this little bronze bead. Sometimes when you get these very inexpensive beads, the holes are not uh, all the way through, or they're not uh, reamed all the way through. Okay, so we'll just add a little bead, and we'll add a knot here on this one. Now comes the resin part. Now, you know, in her video, she had a resin with an ultraviolet light. I don't have that. So for me, I have... I am using some dimensional glaze. So I'm using uh, 
diamond glaze. I'm using Judikins diamond glaze. You could also use stickles, but it's a similar, gives you the similar look of a resin. Just an e, but it's, you don't need the ultraviolet equipment to use it, right? And I'm just going to go ahead and pour my resin down, pour my diamond glaze down. Now this would be the time if you had any extra things you wanted to add to your piece, like, um, like I think I have some, we'll look, up, we'll look really quick, but I know I have some paper napkin. I know I made some paper napkin uh, stamping, so I'm going to use that. Poured a little too much and it came out the holes on the back, but it's okay because it's. Uh, I'll set it up on something nonstick to dry. And you can also, let's see. Let's see if I can find, here is some tissue paper where I have some numbers. Let's see. Let's see what number. Maybe I'll put number. Maybe I'll put a number five in there. Maybe we'll put some beads as well. I don't know. We'll see. Some of that diamond glaze. Now, if you can't find this, you can also get two part epoxy in the, which I like to use sometimes, that you can get in the hardware store. The five minute two part epoxy works well too. So I'm just going to add a few seed beads to it just to give it some extra stuff. But you add what you have, you know? Maybe take a vacation, you add some grains of sand from the beach. Okay? Well, these are my pieces. Well, thank you so much for hanging out and watching and being part of this wonderful video hop. I'd also like to take the time to thank, to give a special thanks to Mar Maridel Abrams, who is the Mary Atier here on YouTube. Check out her channel. She put so much energy and love into our thanks for watching art. Until next time, aloha.